hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to try to walk you through the most important part of this class, honestly, is the working with GitHub and Cloud9 and learning how to use the command line to make changes. So first of all, um, let's just go through and review what we've done. We've already created an account for GitHub. So if you go to GitHub and sign in, you should be able to use your username. So I made one for this class, Mr. Tho, and hopefully Google remember it. There you go. So um, basically that is that I don't really have much. I just do some tests here, but mostly my repositories are empty. In case you're wondering what a repository is, uh, a repository is just a place that we can store all our data. And we can branch off different repositories from that main source of data. But basically when you want to work with something, um, we can basically uh, do it all online and, and you can you can make it public or private and you can add people to it and uh, it basically it's a place where you can work with all your files and manage it for you so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one okay so this is going to uh, we'll call it uh, citrus valley CS okay now you're not going you're gonna have to follow the directions you're gonna make it your username dot github dot io but I just want to show you how it works first and um, this is just a sample for the cool video. And you can initiate with a readme if you want. You should get in the habit of using a readme file. Um, basically, that just adds a file that you can add markdown language to it. So let's see, here it is. There's nothing here, but I could edit it. So this is my, my now this is my repository. So if you go to my, um, my profile, and you click repositories, you'll see that there's this new repository it just got updated 13 seconds ago. Okay, um, let me go back again. I wanted to show you guys something. Um, hold on a second. Weird. So I just realized you do not want to make, um, <laughs> you do not want to add the readme file. I just think um, when you do that, it doesn't show you the command line stuff. I didn't know that until I just did it. So let me do a new one. So I'm going to make another one and we're going to call this try two. Okay, this time don't click initiate with a readme file. And I was like, I want the command. I'm sure that there's probably another way I can find this. Um, I want to know what to type into the command line. I don't have it memorized. I mean, I kind of do, but this is what I want right here, the quick setup. So this page right here, this information is what I really need. So I need these lines of code. I actually don't want to use the first one, so I'm not going to echo. So ignore the first one. You're just going to use the second, third. Uh, you're going to skip the third one if you want, if you don't want to add a readme. But you definitely need to initialize git, you need to commit, you need to remote, and you need to push. So let's go to Cloud9. And what I'm going to show you another little trick is when you have two windows that you want to use together and you just grab it, you can actually take it off of the screen and then they're no longer connected. And if I want to, I can just slide this all the way to the side, it'll take up exactly half the screen. And then I can take the other one. And move it to the side and it takes up exactly half the screen if you just want half and half so a lot of times you'll be watching a video on one side and writing your code on another side so this is kind of like the split screen easy setup now if you want this to take up more you can do that but then it's going to go back and forth it's up to you so I'm gonna actually give this more space because all I really want is these lines right here so first of all let me sign into cloud 9 now when you go to cloud 9 and sign in if you've already signed in with with um, GitHub, and you've created your account, which we're going to do together, you'll you'll be taken straight to here. Hey, look, well, here we are. So let's go ahead and create a new workspace. We're going to call this um, Cool Video Workspace. Really, I just, cool video is good enough. I am a teacher who paraglides, and. We'll call, we'll, yeah, whatever. 
Now, the one thing I do want you to be careful with is make sure you choose HTML5 for this. We're going to be using this specifically for our web page. So use HTML5 and then create wor workspace. Uh, your team does not have billing enabled yet. Oh. Gosh. Don't set a team. <laughs> All right. So that was what I don't know if you guys remember me saying I couldn't get you guys on because I didn't bring my credit card yesterday. You don't actually need to pay for Cloud9. You just have to give them a credit card. Should you choose to upgrade to some of their things, you can. So they like it to make it easy for you to spend money in the future. But the service itself is free. Okay, so here we go. And this is what is important. This is the bash window. Okay. So this right here is just welcome to Cloud9. So this is a readme that they added for me, which I didn't actually need. But let's go ahead and do this lines now. So we're going to do git init. That's the first line. So this is going to initialize git. Git is a program. Oops. All right. Initialize empty git repository in home. Okay. Now we're going to do git. I'm going to skip. Um, I'm going to skip all the way down to this line right here. So we're going to put this line right here. And by the way, if you try to um, paste, oh, it does work. No, oh, it doesn't work. So it's, it says paste control V. So to actually use copy and paste, you do control V. Oops, what happened? Accidentally added All right. without that. All right, now we added that repository. And now what I want to do is I want to make a change to, so if I do git status, basically it's got these two little things that have been added to the files. So these are files that Cloud9 added for me. So it can say that basically I can add these files and they'll be committed. So let's go ahead and do that actually. I was going to make it, well, I'll, I'll do both. I'll, I'll make a file too. So if I wanted to add a new um, file inside the branch cool video which is the repository I got from github okay oh wait no it isn't well, let's just see what happens I'm a little bit um, tired right now <laughs> so I'm gonna make this first of all I'm gonna make this an HTML page so let me make it with HTML tags and you see it doesn't recognize these as HTML tags at first so I had to type it in um, if you immediately know you're going to make a web page, if you save it as, and then I call it um, web page, why don't we make it index since that's a good habit. This will be my home page for this, this folder. And I name it .html. Now it'll recognize it. And you see how it changed the color? I don't know if you could tell, but it could change it. So if I, if I wanted to make my body, paragraph, uh, body in my paragraph tag, it would automatically do it for me. So it's nice. So then I can add like a um if i wanted to make a link to like google or something i don't know why i'm doing this this is just taking more time and we'll call it google okay and then we can say this is cool so this is all going to be so there'll be a there'll be a link and then there'll be this is cool don't forget to save it so you see here it hasn't been saved. When you click the save, you can do Control S or you can do File Save, either one. So I just did Control S, but I realized after I did it, you couldn't see what I did. Um, it will then no longer be there, so that means I can go ahead and preview it. So if I preview it, it shows me what this looks like. So I've got this sentence, this is cool, and I've got Google. Uh, if I wanted to change that, so I, oh, I didn't mean that, I wanted them on separate lines. Well, all I have to do is add a break tag. So. I don't even need the, the enter. So let me go ahead and save that and then preview again. And now I have it the way I wanted it. Okay. Now, so this is actually what this is basically showing us a live preview of what our web page would look like. I could make it full screen if I want to see this is what the actual web page looks like. But for right now, this is all I wanted to do is just to check that it looks right and I can make changes before I go ahead and commit this all the way to GitHub. Okay. Now, 
down below, I'm going to type in get status, see where I'm standing. Now it says I've got these additions, okay? And notice it's got index HTML now, which wasn't there before. That means it's, it's tracking this changes, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and follow this so that these next lines you're going to do is get add dot, okay? This basically means add all these changes, okay, to the working directory, which is the one we got from here, okay? So now we're going to commit them, and to commit them, you have to include a message. So I'm going to write git commit dash m, and then I'll say, hi class. So that's a message. And so what it does is, if you don't commit, this is actually kind of cool, if you don't make a commitment with a message of what you did, it will not allow you to do all this stuff. So you notice I added the changes, but until I commit the changes and then adding a message, it won't actually do it. Okay, so it's kind of cool. Okay, and then the last thing is I do git dash push. Now, you'll notice when I do that, it requires me to log in. So you only have to do this the first time. So for me, uh, my username is Mr. Tho, and my password, you can't know, so I'll just type it, and there we go. And now it's done. So I logged in, but the next time, so let me make an, ah, you, do, you believe me, right? So the next time I make a change, it won't make me do my username and password. So I can just keep working. I don't have to do that every time, just the first time. That's the way that they talk and they verify that you are indeed the person here. So let's go back to GitHub now and see what's happened to the repository. So this was the try to. Look, it says that there's been an HTML. So here's the changes. And look, the index, the same thing that we did. Wow. So this is the actual place where the repository is stored and managed and will be published online. And this is where we did all the editing. And the command line, which is through a bash window, bash is another program. But bash is what we used last year if you were in my class. So this is the same working environment. It's just online. So you can basically push it directly to GitHub, and your changes will be there. And then it will work. So that's it. That's the video. That's all you need. And once you've done that, you can come here and add more pages, add images, do what you really want, and you just have to do this process. This seems like a lot, these lines of code right here, but you'll remember them after a while, and so I won't get too frustrated. It'll be a lot better than it sounds once you get used to it. All right, thanks for watching. See you in class.